Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Season 5 series. So, we shall be transforming this area today. Our plans were to remove all of our industrial production and I think the resources are at an acceptable level right now and our little island over here, I think we have enough... Yeah, there's quite a few planks here already. Gears are a little low because we might be... I think we were exporting them before and we were sending them to Scrap City over here because that's where we are producing metal. And uh, yeah, I think we can start relying purely everything that comes from here. I mean, in the future we might of course improve the gears but right now I think we're fine. Plus, we also do have enough bots as well that we can send into this area. Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm, let's see, how are we going to do this? Well, I guess we just remove everything, right? Okay, you're gone, you're gone. All of this is gone. Okay, beautiful. Now with the storages, there's quite a few resources here. Um, <laughs> and we have a lot of beavers as well. I think what we'll do is let's pause another one here. Because uh, we already have 15 spare beavers. And we don't really have any jobs for them just yet. I mean, with the farming itself, <laughs> it might provide a few jobs, but I was also thinking to move the, or at least some of the columns here. Maybe not all, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we've got the column army on standby, and as soon as they're ready, then we'll bring them in as well. Now, the next thing we do want to do here is, well, we do have enough potatoes. There's a, yeah, there's a ton of them over here. Okay, now farms, I believe we do have enough, yep. So the storages are full and same with the grilled potatoes. So next thing we do want to start farming in here. Well, I guess we should really start with the trees since they take the longest to grow. Okay, now <laughs> I was also thinking to move or separate this and create an individual district which would allow us to use the trains in the future if we wanted to and maybe ship it up here or maybe even here if we or once we develop this area okay so for the time being i think we can wait with the district center let's do a bit of cleanup over here i don't suppose they have yeah a lot of places to take all this stuff right now but they can sure try now <laughs> let's have a look so with the trees we're not gonna need this many maple trees but we need some for the syrup okay and with the chestnut trees i suppose it's fine to keep some in the back area over here but we definitely do wanna yeah there's quite a bit growing over here as well okay so why don't we turn this area into like chestnuts okay so that means we are taking out everything just like so. And I think with the foresters, you can stay where you are right now. Oh no, it's getting dark as well. That's alright. We'll just, yeah, take everything out. Don't think we have to harvest any of you. Okay, so this way it's a little bit, yeah, easier to transition. Um, we also do have to, yeah, unhighlight all of this from, uh, from harvesting. Okay, we are no longer harvesting these areas. We want those new trees to grow. Okay, there we go. I think that's everything. No, there's a couple more over here. Okay, beautiful. We'll speed up the time as well. And uh, hopefully by morning... Actually, no, they're not going to do anything overnight because we don't have any bots over here. Okay, so in preparation for the bots themselves, we do need a few sta uh, charging stations. So, <laughs> I think this might be a suitable area. We don't have to send the power up there anymore, but we are going to keep the infrastructure as it is right now. Okay, four stations should be enough, right? We could even pass the power through here. Okay, so that's fine. We'll take this one out. Okay, and we need a T-junction over here. We'll get this one done as a priority then we also need a straight power shaft right here 
Okay, so the next thing, we shall build a couple... Oh, wow, those platforms went up very quickly. Okay, maybe pause this for, uh, for a second. And, okay, it's finally rainy season again. What we had to do, we had to build a couple of water dumps over here because everything was very dry. And yes, they don't have access to this one right now, but that's okay because we might... As we said before, we might have a different district center somewhere, somewhere here. Okay, now you guys are complaining. Well, that's okay because we're not harvesting any trees from here anyways. And I think the up the hill... Okay, this needs to be unhighlighted as well. All right, well, there we go. So you don't really have anything to do right now. Why don't you stop with the chestnut trees... And they can go... Let's start putting a few down here. Okay. And maybe the same, just like so. Right, right, right. And one over there. Maybe a couple over here as well. Actually, never mind. Let's just cover everything. Because it's going to be quicker to plant them than wait for them to spread all over the place. Okay. Now, potatoes... We have a lot over here. It's a very big field. Now, yes, they might not have the reach for everything. But, yeah, I think we're fine. So, I'd like to turn this this area here into wheat instead. Okay. We might even have to build a few, uh, what is it, builder huts to keep up with everything. But, it's fine. It's okay. So, a highlight all of you that can go out all right there we go that's quite a quite a few jumps for them uh on this side i think all of that needs to go as well now what was our reach again right now they can run okay all the way over here and they could probably cross a little bit as well if we had a few roads here okay so what we can do is let's do a couple of gathering flags side by side and you will focus the chestnut trees all right lovely and that's gonna go over there okay i think we do need a few more trees we've got some space now and that looks pretty good to me and same over here okay now can they they cannot reach those okay hmm I guess another way we could do it, if we placed a a flag over here, I think that's the furthest we can go, then we could ask them to cut all those trees down, potentially. Yeah, okay, so that section is complete now as well. This means our supply is still 2,000, but demand is much lower, which is good. Okay, now next, um, with the storages over here, yeah, I don't think we'll be storing anything useful. I mean, some of the logs will be useful to keep nearby. But the rest is most likely... Yeah, another thing I'm not entirely sure is... Do we want to... We probably should do the production, food production in here as well. And keep it, keep it around is what I mean. Rather than shipping it all out. I mean, we could, of course. We, we, we do have the trains. So, if this was to become restaurants, we could ship all of our resources there. Yep, we could. Alright, another thing we do have to do, I know we're getting a little bit sidetracked. Um, if we had the access, and we might have it a little further. Okay, so why don't we grab this road, run it all the way here. Oh, we can't climb up from this side. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> I would like them to complete a few of those dynamites over here. So maybe we do it from this side. Okay, one and two. Here we go. I think we just need one more road. And there we go. Okay. Now the mountain itself can stay here on those little cliffs. I just want to give them a bit more access. And I think in the future we might... Yeah, we do have to kind of open this up a little bit more because I think a few times the um, this area got flooded as well and that's not really good 
Uh, now, okay, so... Whilst we're waiting for the farm... Oh, we're not waiting. They've already done it. Okay, well, that is... Yeah, that's very good. So, next thing we shall start planting. Let's do one, two, three. And from the fourth one, I think we'll go... Oh, no. One, two, three. In case we want to place a few farms over here. Let's start with the furthest plants first. Yep, let's do it this way. Okay, now... <laughs> I think we have enough beavers over here to grab all the chestnuts. We should do. As soon as they get planted, of course. Uh, Alright, so the wheat is going in as well. That's good. And you still have a few things in range, right? Yeah, all those the trees are within range. Okay, so that's good. We can leave you at that. Um, <laughs> You will take 10 days, so we have a bit of bit of time until we need to start thinking about where to produce things as well. And I'd say the easiest option is most likely going to be somewhere here. Uh, right, so we might want to do a few storehouses here, or warehouses, and then place the production buildings. Let's have a look. We need the crystal mill. Well, bakery doesn't need power, so that's good. And packing plant... That might be handy as well. So what I was thinking is that for this playthrough, we're not going to use maybe the uh, the recipe that's the top one. So that one covers all the, all the food types. How about we create like three backing plants that do the, the bottom three recipes. So that way it might be like less overpowered, I, I guess, in a way. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So that's all good over here. Now with the water plants, what I would like to do, I would like to actually trap them over here. Okay, uh, sorry, not the plants, the, um, the water. If we build or raise this land a little bit and create like a little lake in here, because uh, in the anime itself as well, coming back to this uh, bathhouse over here, it is actually surrounded by water so it could be a great spot i mean we already have the canyon over here and then this water source as well that runs down the hill now if we trap some water here we could actually level this out and use it to build some uh, or plant some water plants instead and the one i have in mind if we can find the right tab um i think spatadoc is the one we want to do or cattail wasn't it which one was it so here we have Spatadog. Okay, so we do want to do some cattail. Right, so that's something we can do here. But first, we are going to need a bit of terraforming. I mean, I guess we could levy this place in as well. So that way we can already start planting a few. But, okay. Right, right, right. So let's go back over here. With our production, we're okay right now. There's enough chestnut trees as well which is good and I don't think we're gonna need this many maples though yeah it seems like it is it is a lot but we do have the beavers right now so a few gathering flags could go in the same locations where we had uh, the what was it called again the lumberjack flags yep there we go Okay, so you go over here, one over here. And I think if we need to, we most likely have to expand something over here. If we take out those trees over here, we could place them up there anyway, uh, instead. Yeah, we should probably start doing this already. Let's speed up the time as well. Alright, so all of you can go out. Okay, yep, let's... Uh, remove all of those trees and we'll replace them very quickly uh, hang on a second we also do have oh yeah we do have a couple of warehouses here already yeah I think we should continue this keep them around but replace the resources so anything we will be producing over here what is 
Uh, what are you complaining about? Nothing to do in range. Um, hold on a second. Oh, it is the wrong building, of course. Um, what we need is the Tapper Shack. Yeah, that's the one that gathers the syrup from the trees. Right, so all of you can go. Don't need you over here. Okay, there we go. And I think the best location to place you is going to be somewhere around here. Don't want it too close to the production area because there's no more trees over there. But somewhere here would be would be the best. Okay, another few trees we can take out. Why don't we place it on this hill here? Okay, highest priority for you. Alright, let's get this sorted out. Any second now, it should be done. We can place a platform here. And then, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's perfect. There we go. We've got one already. But that's not going to be enough. So why don't we do another one maybe right next to you? Yep, this might be another great location. And... Hmm... We could also do another one here. Let's see how this road runs through. Do we want to change you around as well? Actually, we might even want to change the type of the roads that we have. Uh, what were the options again? This looks kind of lovely, but it's more like... I'd say it's more like for this city. Whereas for the farms... Oh, let's do those wooden ones. Yeah, because it's a farm, right? Or do we have anything... No, probably not. And the bricks. Oh, that's the red one. Gravel. Okay, I think gravel will work because it's the farms. It's the forest. Uh, wait a second, wrong tool. Here we go. Yep, let's take it all out. And gravel is going to be our... The new roads. Okay, let's take all of this out as well. There we go, and now we can... Swap you over. Do we want to connect them? I'm not sure. But I think you can go through kind of like this. Okay, there we go. And now you should focus on the on the maples. We do have this lovely space in here now. Can uh, not rotate. Here we go. And same thing for you as well. The range is actually pretty good. We cover pretty much everything. Yeah. That is definitely the... Um, most of the hill and I'll switch over the rest of the roads a little bit later okay so it is time to start doing some more chestnut trees around this place okay start planting all around this area okay here we go I don't think they can go up there and <laughs> over here as well there we go and that should be the, the last spot. Okay, cool. So that is all in. The drought is almost starting as well, but I believe everything should be full over here, right? Now the canal is not. That's because we're still letting water through. I think with this as well, we probably do want to change this very soon. I'd say we'll do it in the next episode. I'd like to start using the water from the top. Create like a little waterfall here that will run throughout this area and keep everything at the low grounds nice and fertile. And then we can just close this one off and you can, I don't know, maybe run into here and then outside again. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. It definitely does flood quite a bit over here. And that is definitely something we do want to fix up as well. Okay, so let's have a look. How do we want to change things around here? We do have a few more trees, so you can go as well. We'll take all this space. And with the farms, do we have enough or do we not? I guess we can do... <laughs> Let's see. A few more over here. I don't think we want to keep this road hierarchy, or maybe we do... Actually, never mind. I think we are going to keep this. So, let's do it differently. This one we're not building here. This one's gonna go. Alright, farms again. If the road goes through, 
One goes there. Just thinking about some of the decorations and things we can use in this place as well. Later on. Then, uh, yeah, it should look lovely. And we might even change this area around a little bit as well. Uh, we just need to figure out where do we want to place everything. Okay, so we got a few things in place already. That should be done soon as well. What are we lacking? Is it metal? Oh, it is. Okay, we're sending everything, but let's um, receive a little bit of metal over here. That will become very useful soon. Okay, there we go. And since we're not harvesting anything anymore, I don't think we need them. But we might... Yeah, why don't we just place it here, just in case. Yeah, we'll leave one over there. We'll, we'll be fine. Okay, so all the trees are done over here as well. These ones, we do have to wait quite a bit of time. Okay, but the farms will be operational. And your priority is going to be wheat. And the same with you. I'd say one for harvesting and the other one for planting. Uh, no. Everyone's planting, so that's fine. Right, so this side is pretty much sorted now. We'll uh, see if we want to expand a little bit later. We just need to wait for all of those trees to come online. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, now... Yeah, everything around here, this stuff can go as well. Alright, that's those trees. Mm, under there we can take as well. Alright, here we go. And those ones. Um, I think those maples can remain for decorations. Same with the pine trees over there. Okay. And now we can place down even more wheat. Perfect. So there we go. Plant it all around this place. Alright, a few more caps. Uh, slow it down a little bit. Okay. And maybe all the way here. So that should be fine. I think they have the reach. It's a little further away. But we might even do another farm. Maybe somewhere around here. Who knows. Right, so for the road access, hmm, I think we do want to keep this one or use this one. So, yeah, let's uh, fix you up and we'll start placing some of those newer roads already. Okay, there we go. And with the storages themselves, you're empty. You're empty as well. Okay, these ones empty. But the top one has some blanks in them, so... Okay, we're gonna have to wait a little bit until they empty these ones as well. Alright, so we could call in a few. A few of those columns already. Uh, where do we want the columns, though? We might want them to plant a few trees for us. Okay, so why don't we uh, take, like... Five. We got four charging stations here. Uh, so where are our columns? I think they were District 15. Probably should have named them. Yeah, it should be. Anyways, it actually doesn't matter because we can set this to. Let's do five. All right, here we go. They don't have a job right now, but that is okay. We can pause these buildings as well and actually delete them. So we're not gonna need you anymore. Right, so what are they going to do? I think you had a pretty good range. No, oh, same with you. So you can go this far. Let's um, change this one around, actually. All right, there we go. So we can get all of those trees planted a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, we do have a few empty spots still as well. All right, so the drought has started and it is only 15 days, so we should be fine. Nothing's going to uh, expire really around here. And all right, so we do have the access now as well, but we don't have the explosives. Uh, I think something we can resume over here temporarily. Uh, wait, did we just lose a ton of beavers? Uh, not entirely sure, but we, we are going to resume the production over there. Okay, and yeah, where did those beavers go? And we have 12 jobs that are... 
open again. I mean, yes, we built a few more farms over here. And let's see, what else did we do? There's a few flags, but we quickly removed them. Oh, they might be in the water pump stations now. Yep, all of these are open. Now, I don't think we need this many. But they're all automated. Uh, <laughs> well, since we are dropping our population, why don't we pause maybe like, like a couple? Okay, this one and that one. You can probably go. Because, yeah, before we had like... 160 beavers, so we needed a bit more water pumped out a little bit quicker. But right now, since the storages are full, we probably don't need that many. And we can resume with the construction of this area. Okay, so we've pretty much done everything we wanted to do. Now, the next thing, what are we missing? So a few more sunflowers would be, would be lovely. But it seems they have reconnected everything. Okay, so that's empty as well, which is good. Now, what I do want to do over here is I want to keep some storages around. Okay, so I think one I'd like to place over here. And change you up a little bit. Yeah, probably this as well, but we should maybe empty this zone a little bit more. Oh, there's a few more plants over here as well. Let's... Uh, Empty this space. Yep, let's get this done. And, I mean, we can also delete it. I think we are going to still keep those resources, so that's good. Okay, there we go. So, large warehouse. Could go here. Yeah, it's pretty close to our production zones. And you could hold... Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> Flower would be nice. I think for now, let's let's set you as wheat. And then later, we might change it to wheat flower instead. Um, it does mean we have to figure out this zone very quickly as well. I mean, we do have a bit of time. It's only about 50% right now. But we'll keep you at the highest of speeds. Um, <laughs> what shall we do here? I think... I think we are... Ah, wait, they're using some of those resources right now. Okay, so 80 logs are gone, 100 left. You know what? It's it's fine. Let's um, remove, remove this. And same over here as well. Let's change this up a little bit. Roads can go too. Okay, we do want... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need those ladders again, aren't we? Okay, one and two... This can run through, connect you up, and quickly do the same above as well. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Now over here, we could do a, another big one, like we had before. Or we could also do those medium ones. They kind of fit here pretty nicely. Yeah. Maybe even this way if we wanted to. No, I think this is... This should be fine. Okay, and a few platforms for, for access as well. Okay, and what you shall be holding. Hmm, what is the next resource we would like to like to have here? Probably some flour. Now, potatoes. Where is the normal flour? Nope, not this one. Cattail roots. Ah, oh, wheat flour, there we go. And the bottom one... Actually, let's do these ones for wheat. And you'll be... Wheat flour for now. Because the actual storages of, with food, they'll be closer to the district itself. So yeah, all the storages around this area, they need to be... Resources that the beavers cannot eat, so they won't be running here. And that's quite important, at least now. Uh, until we uh, separate those districts. Yeah. Okay. 33 bots right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Might have to pause. Let's do this real quick, actually. Yep, let's uh, pause one of those. I don't think we need that this many right now. Okay. Fine. 
Um, <laughs> everything that we do have up here, I think we'll keep a few things around. And what we could also do, why don't we remove all of those dead trees over here? Okay, that should be pretty easy. And what we might want to do is... <laughs> I think a few storages should go here. Because right now, if we want to clean up all these spaces, and especially around here as well, we do need to put those resources somewhere. Okay, yep, let's uh, take everything out from here. Okay, uh, storages, let's have a look. Large industrial pile. Yeah, we could even place you here. And then one more over there. Let's do that. Seems like a good plan. Oh, the power's going through here, so we can't do another right on the opposite side. And there isn't really a better way. We could always bring it over. And to be honest, we're not using power for a lot right now. Well, Tyna might see us, but... Okay, we'll do one side first. That could be a good compromise. Alright, now let's grab those roads again. And bring you through. The rest of you can be removed for a second. Okay, here you go. Everything's fixed again. Right, so one of you will hold... Let's have a look. Logs. Other one will be blanks. And we do want a couple of levels. Alright, there we go. Access-wise, well, I guess we are going to have to. No, let's take this road out. And we'll place the ladders... Oh, if the door's here. Oh yeah, we are going to have to place you... Just like so. And now you do have access. Okay, cool. Okay, so I quickly went around and I thought... Let's just delete everything. It's going to be so much easier... To visualize it. And yeah, we'll take out some of those roads as well. Okay, connect you up again. You should have the access. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit easier... Just to figure out where do we want things. Right. Now, this bridge over here can probably go next. Don't think we want to keep you around. We might as well use it for a few storages. Unless we do it a little bit differently over here. But let's see. So, our power comes in from here. Which means... Uh, <laughs> we can do a storage block like so. Another one can be here. Oh, actually, we can leave those bridges. It's fine. Yep, it is okay. And then, same over here. I think we can even, yeah, we can even connect you up from somewhere there. Let's pause this one for the time being, because we're not going to have access once it is done. Oh no, never mind. We are going to have to climb up a little bit higher. Okay, so... <laughs> right, another one will probably go here. Another warehouse. Keeping the access in mind, that can go straight through over there. Okay, leaves a bit of space for a few decorations as well. And next, they are going to need platforms over here. Uh, not sure how we'll link this up. Might do... Let's have a look. If we... Had a ladder somewhere here. Or maybe even here. Then we could do stairs that go up from this corner. We we'll still have access for all these buildings. Actually, yeah, let's um, change this up a little bit. Alright, this goes... Hmm. I think we'll be fine with, with this over here. Right, highest priority as well. Get this done first. And I do want to change this around real quick. Okay. Way nicer now. And this side can be populated with trees again, I believe. Okay, you are holding gears right now. <laughs> right, so what are things that will need power? Crystal. Yep. 
so that can go here. Okay, this one can go here as well. And you guys will be connected. You will not be connected. And that's going to be a little bit more trickier to send the power in. Hmm, yeah, because we also need to access this house over here. Unless there is another road somewhere around here. And wait a second. We could do another warehouse here as well. We could do. Okay, how many quest mills do we need? Well, I guess three or four will be fine. So how about this will not be a quest mill here? This could be a bakery instead. Yep, it could be. And facing that way. Okay, so these buildings over here are gonna hold. Yeah, I think we're gonna change this around a few times. Right, flower. And I don't think we need to hold flower over here. No. Okay, we might change it a few times, so it's okay. Not everything's gonna remain the way it is right now. But I think we got a pretty good start, so why don't I take just a little bit of time and have a look how we can arrange things, and we'll be back right away. Alright, so I think we do have the layout the way we want it to be. So at the bottom, what I've done is we've placed one of those large warehouses. And actually, we might want to pause you for a little while so no one's going to get stuck on the or under those platforms over there. And on top of them, we were able to place a couple more crystal mills. So in total, we have five over here. And I think that's a, that's a pretty good start, I would say. Now, in the future, we might... Mm, I don't think we can pass power through this way. But it's... Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. We might rearrange this area a little bit as well, because I'm not very happy how this is all laid out over here. Now, with the bakeries, I believe we can do a few around this area as well. Not entirely sure about those warehouses. If we do need them, then we'll keep them. But right now, I'm just going to keep an eye on uh, what sort of resources are coming in and how many of everything are we getting. So, because the key thing for us is resources are being produced over here. We don't want the farmers to be running back and forth, moving those resources into warehouses. We want the haulers to be doing that. Right, so if they move them here, that's also a bit of a walk for the for the people or the beavers that are working in the crisp mills and the bakery. Now, we do have a few warehouses underneath them, so that way they could go down and grab the resources from there. Okay, but with that, that I think means I would like there to be access from here, or maybe somewhere here. Depends where the doors are. I think there's one door over here. And another one should be here, so yep, this might be okay. Alright, let's have a look as well. <laughs> oh, there's a road as well. Okay, let's try and delete it. Okay, there we go, and we'll place the ladder. This way seems to be fine. Okay, so this means we don't have to climb up from here. Yep. And we're not going to need these platforms either. We might be able to delete most of them. Okay, so let's give it a try. Take those ones out. And access-wise, there we go. So they can walk in, climb up from here, go to their working stations. And if they need resources, they can just climb down from here, go into one of those warehouses, depending on what they need. Now, we also do have access from this side. So, yeah, we could place a few, <laughs> let's see, few buildings over here. Yeah, the platforms, that's a platform, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so if we wanted to extend our crisp mill network, that over here could be the roads. And, I mean, yes, they have to go around a little bit, but we could always move the ladder a little bit closer if we, if we want to. And then, yeah, we can do at least one, maybe even two crisp mills over here. And that would be 
pretty pretty easy plus another larger warehouse here perhaps as well potentially I mean if we didn't have this block over here that would be perfect but right now I think we're gonna leave everything like this so why don't we skip ahead just a little bit until we have the wheat ready so 72 percent right now which means less than three days left and once we're ready we will jump back in okay so there we go the wheat is slowly starting to come online now and what we'll also do because we do have a couple of spare columns in here we are gonna switch it over yes columns in in the farms for now just to make sure that we stay on top of all that new food that's coming in right now and what we can do with all those spare beavers right now well we can place you already in those buildings i think we'll have a couple operational okay yep there we go harvest everything and we'll plant the new crops as well right so that's being done i think another recipe that we forgot about or i did was maple pastries so what do we need for that? Wheat flour and maple syrup. Okay, so perhaps that is also something we can start doing over here. Or no, let's do bread first since we do have... Yep, that already in. Now, but with maple pastries... Hmm, let's have another crisp mill online actually. Okay, wheat flour. Yeah, why don't we turn them all on? That should be fine, right? I think we do have enough power. Oh, well, we had before. Okay, so this one we are gonna pause. Oh, it's only taking 60. Well, anyways. The wheat's coming in now. There's a ton of that. And you seem to be working already as well, which is good. So, let's have a look. Have you received any wheat flour? Okay, so we are producing bread now. Yeah, I mean, it's only like, what is it, 14th episode now. That's how long it has taken us to to reach bread as well, which is, uh, of course, it's very late, but I think we've pretty much done everything else. Everything else that we wanted to do in this colony. There are still, of course, a few bigger builds that we have talked about, so it, it's it's not like it's the end of the series. Don't, don't, uh, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, definitely very, very late for the bread. Now, what we shall do over here. I do want to change this area around a little bit. I don't think I want to place like another road over here. Oh, actually, wait a second. If we do those bakeries over here, we could do a couple. But that might disturb. Hmm, it doesn't look very good over there. What if we place you in here instead? Okay, so one can go here. And this one can do, let's say, maple pastries, for example. Yeah, we'd have a ton of maple syrup. And actually, maple syrup, let me guess, that's most likely going to be... Hmm. In one of those tanks, isn't it? Let's just have a look real quick. Oh yeah, maple syrup goes in there. Right, so... <laughs> well, we do have a little bit of space in here. So, one storage unit. We can place you like so. Okay, and obtain. Right, there we go. And, of course, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. We are most certainly going to place a few more. And a slightly larger one, for sure, as well. But we just have to figure out how do we want to expand and develop this zone over here. Not entirely sure just yet. But at least we... Let's have a look. Have you received all the resources yet? Not really. But we got the flower. You've got the logs. And now maple syrup as well. Okay. And that's the first of maple syrup. I think we can already see their well-being going up as well. We might even want to build a few more bakeries over here. But I'm not entirely sure how we want to do it. I mean, another option could be if we take the medium warehouses, we could push them back a little bit. And same on this side as well. So that way it's not going to mess up the roads and we can do a few stairs that go up. 
Yeah, this might be more lovely, so why don't we change you around very quickly before we start putting resources in these buildings. Okay, and now... <laughs> you can go up there, and this one. I kind of like these ones as well. I think they're looking pretty lovely. Why don't we change you around just a tiny bit? Okay, so that goes there. And the baker itself, if we flip you around... Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And now what we will store here... Oh yeah, we got to the maple syrup, of course. Um, <laughs> okay, for now, we can hide this a little bit, I think. Let's see, if the entrance is, is here, we can place a couple of trees on the other side. Okay, it is still, of course, visible from the fields. But we could also do maybe one over here. There might be a potential for a future access through here instead. And cutting this link out. Or maybe we go straight, uh, straight through from this side. We'll see. But yeah, I think that's how we are gonna do this. So you are not set right now, but that's okay. We can hold some wheat flour in both of you. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need that... And <laughs> let's do bread and maple pastries. Okay, so that should ramp up our food production pretty, pretty quickly. And yeah, they've cleaned up the whole field now as well. 148. And wheat flour is going down. Yeah. I mean, give it some time. And it should stabilize pretty pretty nicely. We just need to wait a few cycles of uh, everything growing up. I mean, with wheat itself as well, because it grows for a very long time. We wanna might want to swap it around with some of those trees over here. Some of them. Because we also have a ton of chestnut trees on the hill. I don't think we're gonna need all of them. But yeah, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good. We can call this episode a success. Everything's being changed around. We have a bit of a backup storage over here as well because whilst we were waiting I did remove a few storages from there which I think they have already cleaned up most of the rubble. So that's looking good. Our population seems to be going down a little bit as well. A few houses are empty now uh, but at least it's better than folktales. If we were playing with folktales right now we'd have to pause all of those houses. Yeah that would be a nightmare. Okay, so you can hold maple syrup for the time being, and yeah, you're gonna have all the resources very close to you, which is good. So, I think right now, yeah, so this area over here, and with how we have the grills, I probably do want to have them a little bit closer, so this will be like a production zone, unless it goes elsewhere. If it doesn't, then um, maybe this hill will be the grills, or we bring them over here, and this will be purely plants over here. And maybe where we have those little hills, we can put some trees for decorations. So it looks a bit more or less empty. Yeah, I think we're pretty happy with this, so let's call it an episode right now. In the next one, what we'll do is we're fine with this over here, but we should probably... Oh yeah, 26 well-being already, that's really good. Okay, so in the next episode, I do want to tidy up this zone over here and start growing some plants. Maybe go into terraforming as well, and then... Try and figure out what do we want to do here. And besides that over here, I also do want to tidy this area up and start holding some water in this river as well. So we'll see how far the columns from this district can go. We can always, of course, place another one down as well and try and build a few dams over here and uh, release the water into this river system that we do have and hopefully close uh, that gate over here. So that way the water can all fill up this tank. But okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.